Sunday or Saturday. <laughs> Depending on where you live, it might be Happy Saturday. Either way, welcome to the studio. I'm Froyle and I'm so glad you're here. Now, what I love about traveling is finding incredible inspiration along the way. And this week, we're going to use photos that I've taken from my recent Sydney travels and architectural designs, and we're going to use them on the gel plate with image transfers to create some abstract paintings. Yay! This is going to be experimental, but a whole lot of fun. So I hope you're gonna join me. Sydney is an absolutely fabulous place to visit and we were staying at The Rocks. Now The Rocks is part of the old section of Sydney. It's the area that was established shortly after colonization. 1700 and something. <laughs> it's not very old, really. I absolutely loved heading towards the Harbour Bridge. And of course, we had to go to the Opera House. So we're going to take some image transfers from photos that I took on this fabulous adventure. Now, before we get in too deep, I want to tell you about Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes and members in hundreds of countries. Whatever you need to upscale your skills, maybe business, maybe marketing, maybe amazing artworks, <laughs> you can find it on Skillshare. I'm both a student and a teacher on Skillshare. I absolutely love this platform because it's simple, it's easy to use, and for the one membership price, hello, you get to watch all of my classes. <laughs> I now have 10 classes on Skillshare. I know, I'm a little bit excited, but what I love about this platform is with your annual membership, you can watch all of my classes for no extra amount. I love that. Do you know how much I could charge you individually? <laughs> It'd set you back quite a few dollars. But with Skillshare, you can watch all of them, stop them, rewind them. What did she say? Watch it again. I know, it's absolutely fabulous. I love it because it's value for money for you. That's what I love about it. There is just so much to explore on the platform. Now, the first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will receive their first month free. Baby, you can't get more affordable than free. <laughs> so, so click on the link and have a look at Skillshare and sign up for the free first month trial because I know you're going to love it. Did I mention I've got 10 classes? 10 classes on Skillshare for you to enjoy. So come and join me in the studio on Skillshare because let me tell you, we have a whole lot of fun. I've got this one here of the shot going down towards the bridge. I, what I like about it is the strong diagonal lines. I like the geometric pattern. We're going with geometric patterns today. I also have some of the tile of the Opera House. I think this is absolutely fascinating and I wanna try jelly printing um, an image transfer of this and just see how it works. Now this is gonna be experimental. Some of my ideas might work, some of them may not, right? But that's half the fun, and that's what the adventure is all about. This building was opposite where I was staying at the Airbnb, and I've increased the colour and dramatically added to the contrast of the image to give it some more punch. Because if you're doing image transfers, you want to get that strong contrast of dark and light areas because that's what makes the transfer process a lot more successful. This building here was opposite my son's apartment and I thought it was just so fascinating. I mean, look at it. <laughs> look at the vertical lines and the colours and the boxes and the squares. How could we not be inspired by all of that incredible shape and colour? So I'm going to try both a landscape image and a portrait and see how they come up. I'm not sure how they'll go with those colours also, also, I'm so excited. The beautiful Queen Victoria building. Oh my gosh, have you been to Sydney? If you go, you need to go to the Queen Victoria building. It is absolutely beautiful. 
And what captivated me the most was the floor. I know, I know, I know. I get off on tangents on crazy things, but the flooring, have a look at the tiles. The pattern on the floor totally caught my attention and I absolutely loved it. Took a heap of photos. So now I'm going to use those photos and see what we can create with some image transfers with these photos because I'm just busting to know how well these geometric patterns are going to work to create some abstract paintings. Yay! Right, so I've got my eight by 10 inch gel plate, my brayer, roll off sheet, some paint and my print copy. Now I've got some uh, Japanese rice paper, some glassine and some tissue. Now the thing with image transfers is you can't have too much paint. That has always been my challenge. I'm very heavy handed with my paint. And I found it very difficult when I first started doing image transfers to put on not too much paint, number one. Now I'm using black. It's a Mars Black Liquitex Basics. I like this brand. It's affordable and I can get it easy, which we love. I want to start with the Opera House Tile. I loved it. We had such a fabulous day at the Opera House with my little treasures. There's also that beautiful shape of the Opera House, how it curves up to a peak. We could do something with that as well. There's just so many possibilities when you travel for fresh inspiration. Yippee, I absolutely love it. And I hope that you're enjoying me on this new adventure. Now, I do have quite a few lessons on Skillshare, particularly with the portraits image transfer, portrait painting. So have a look at that if you really want more in-depth techniques on how to do the image transfers on the gel plate because I love it, absolutely love it. Right, so paint on the plate, image down and let's see what we've got. Oh man, it definitely didn't transfer as well as I would have liked. I was hoping for a little bit more of pattern of the tile it's not brilliant maybe it was too much paint maybe my gel plate is just warming up i don't know but you know it's a start we could do something with it and i think let's just add a stencil to it like hello <laughs> yes i'm gonna do that right so pm artist studio have a sydney inspired stencil which is this one so i'm going to put a bit of that on here because we've got to stick with the theme right <laughs> my original transfer wasn't so brilliant so what do you do you just got to add something else no stress look at that that looks fabulous that's a nice print like that right -o. so i'm going to let that dry pull that print and we'll try again with another image transfer maybe pull out some more stencils yay Right, the paint's dry, let's pull the print. So don't get stressed out if your first attempt at something doesn't work, especially an image transfer or even a jelly print or anything really, because it happens to all of us. <laughs> it's really okay. Find another solution, dream up something else amazing that you can create with what you've got and just keep moving forward because it really truly is part of the creative process. That's just the way it goes for everybody. It doesn't always work the way you want first time, sometimes even second time. So I just wanna encourage you, don't give up, never give up. Just try something else. Come up with your next brilliant idea and keep creating fabulous art. Now I'm going to use the um, Japanese Calligraphy paper, I put the shiny side down just in case the flat side wanted to stick. Don't know if it does. I usually use both so I don't get hung up on one side or the other unless I find something that really doesn't work. But in this case, hmm, I think I've flipped it both ways. So this one was a powder blue in the Reeves paint. That's also another really affordable paint brand. If you want to know the paints I use, the colours, they have a look in the description. I'll have an Amazon list there and you can shop. You don't have to buy it, but you can at least find out what it is 
that I'm using. If you want the information, it's always under the video in the description. Ta-da! Now there it is. There's my fabulous Opera House tile, the slight amount that transferred, and the glorious stencil from PM Artist Studio with the Sydney theme. Yay! So I'm not one to get perturbed pretty easily. I'm going to give that Opera House stencil another go. Now this is a different copy shop that I've got my prints done. So maybe they differ in the amount of toner on the image. I'm going to use my favorite paints gray because if it doesn't work with that, nothing's going to work. <laughs> this one I actually shopped online and had prints done and sent to me because my fabulous office stationery warehouse has gone and moved. I mean, how rude. It was a five minute walk and now it's not there anymore. And oh man, devastation. So these image transfers are coming from print copies from a different place. And yes, it does matter. I have found. So my fabulous and most favorite Payne's Gray is on the plate not too much and let's see if we can get more of that beautiful opera house tile this time you just can't give up too easily that's all there is to it righto let's see if we have any more success with this one and see if our transfer worked you know it didn't and it's even worse. So I'm figuring that these prints from that office shop are not giving me any love. Oh man, hold the phone caller. That is just not right. I have to go and get some better print copies because these ones are useless. Okay, so yes, I did hop in my car <laughs> and scream off down the road just so I could go to the office warehouse stationery to get my images printed because I know they work from there. So if this works, then this is going to actually really help you to work out why it's not working for you. If it's not working for you, this could be your reason. It could simply be the print copy, right? because I haven't had that problem before. I've had that problem when it came to printing black and white images. Um, the paper absorbed all the paint and it didn't leave the impression of the transfer on the gel plate. And that's what this one has done. It's absorbed the paint and it's not left the transfer on the plate. And that'll be because there's not enough toner on the print copy, right? So. We're going to give it another go with my images from Office Warehouse Stationery because I've used them before and I know that they work. If it doesn't work this time, oh man, then you know, you know I've lost my mojo. <laughs> but we can't have that now, can we? Jeez Louise. So can you give me a drum roll? <laughs> Because here we go. This could be the solutions for all your image transfer problems. It could be this simple. Are you ready for it? Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. See, look at that. Now that's the image transfer of the tile of the opera house perfectly transferred onto my gel plate from this color laser print from the office shop standard paper now if you're having trouble with your image transfers it's your print copy <laughs> like, like like the agony i just went through <laughs> if it's doing this and your print copy is absorbing all of your paint it doesn't have enough toner in the print copy now if you've got your own laser printer it might be doing this or if you're using an inkjet it's not going to work either this one was from office warehouse stationery and i knew that these prints worked it's a color copy print on standard paper nothing fancy but it works right <laughs> 
and we like it when it works. That's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to transfer from there onto there. Now you have to have a strong contrast in your image, but apparently you also have to have the right print copy. So there you go. If it's not working, it's actually your print copy. It's not anything that you're doing wrong. So let's pull that print because man, that was exhausting zooming all the way down to office with stationery. Why did they have to move? I hate that, seriously. It was a five minute walk. It was so easy. Now they're like, you know, a whole five minutes in the car. <laughs> but I would rather walk. Anyway, oops, had a bit of paint still on the brayer. That wasn't so good. But at least we got the print copy working, right? Telling you, that could be your whole problem. It's probably not what you're doing wrong. It's your print copy. Yay! Okay, let's put this one onto the Japanese calligraphy paper and see if we can pull a lovely print of the fabulous Opera House tile. Well, I'm telling you, that was worth learning, even if you only watched just for that one bit of information, that is gonna help your life immensely. However, now we can kick on and do some amazing, fabulous abstract designs with our image transfers. Yay! Righto, let's see how that print pulls. Yay, straight off the plate. And that was what I was expecting to happen. Image transfer onto the gel plate and then a second color pulling that transfer straight onto paper. Like, hello, it's a simple technique when it works. <laughs> so that's fabulous. That's the Opera House tile. I'm loving it. Let's have a go with some of these other images and see how fun that'll be. Okay, so I'm busting to have a try with this particular image of the apartment that was opposite where my son's living. That's way too much paint. Let's just take some of that off. This one here, I think that's fun. Look at those shapes on that building. That is just gonna be fabulous. Now, I'm gonna make sure I get the right print copy. That was a good lesson to learn. <laughs> that could be your whole solution for image transfers. I'm telling you, it could be that simple. Try a different place of getting your print copies done because, man, it makes a huge difference. Righto, let's put this down. We're going sideways with it. Loving these abstract qualities of these geometric shapes of the architecture. It's just so much fun. Yay! I knew this one would print well because it had such great defined areas. That looks fabulous. It actually really goes landscape. Shall we put it that way? Yes, let's do that. That is just glorious. And now we have to decide what colour we're going to pull it with. Maybe a couple of colours. Maybe. Righto, it should be dry enough. Let's go with a little bit of copper. Maybe some bronze. I'm just using the Liquitex Basics because, yay, they're good paints and they're affordable. Love it. Little bit of copper, little bit of bronze. Let's get a bit of metallic going and see how we pull the print of this fabulous looking building. Okay, let's have a look and see how that printed. Yay, it printed fabulous with the bronze and the copper. Look at the glorious lines of the building. The geometric patterns, I just love it. It can go that way, or we really could put it that way. It'd look fabulous in a collage with some other shapes and textures. We could even do uh, a second color on that print before we pull it. Let's do that next time. Oh, okay, let's do that. <laughs> This time I'm busting to try this one. This was the building opposite where my son lives and we'll just use the paint that I put out way too much of last time. Yay. 
And this time I think we'll let the print dry and maybe put a second color, a shape, maybe a stencil or something. We'll put something on it before we pull it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Or else we could pull it onto some different paper. Yeah, I might do that too. All right, we'll do something. Now that we've got the print copy working, we can have a little play and experiment some more with the layering of the print. This one should have a good transfer because it's got some great strong lines and some geometric shape. Maybe we'll put some of that Sydney stencil on it. That's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Righto, so that's transferred really well. It's got some great geometric shapes there. So why don't we contrast that with some of the stencil? And I'll we'll just let that dry first, then we'll put some stencil on it. And that could be really fun. I'd like to see what that looks like. Okay, so let's add some iridescent bronze fine, my favourite golden colour, with the Sydney-inspired stencil from PM Artist Studio and we'll run that over and put that as another layer on this fabulous image transfer and then we'll pull the print and see how cool that looks. Yay! Right, let that dry. And what colour will we put on it? Mm, maybe some alizarin. Okay. So let's put a little of my favourite alizarin crimson on here. Maybe a dash of copper because I always love the metallic colours. And we'll see how this one prints. So we have the fabulous image transfer underneath and then the Sydney inspired stencil on top of that. Yay! Look at that beautiful colour. Oh man, loving it. Some of my Japanese calligraphy paper because it's right there in the pile. I could use something else. <laughs> I thought about it, didn't I? I said I was going to print it onto some different paper. Oh man, I already forgot. <laughs> Let's print this one and see what it's like. Right, oh, let's see what we got. Always a surprise, right? I love it. <laughs> I think that's why it's so addictive, jelly printing. Oops, we stuck on the plate. I waited too long. Boo hoo. Ah, tear, tore it. Probably too much paint. Not to worry about that. Sometimes that happens, that'll be I left it there too long or it was too much paint for my poor little Japanese calligraphy paper. But that's pretty nice, right? I could tear that section out and use that. I like that. I like the Payne's Grey of the geometric lines underneath that pattern in the bronze of the stencil. That's pretty cool. That's a cool idea. Okay, well, I'll just try one more. Oh, maybe two. <laughs> I really want to try one of the ones of the floor of the Queen Victoria building because they look really cool. But I'm going to try something really different. I'm going to try it in white. I always start really dark. So what would happen if I tried white? Do you think white would work? I don't know, man. I don't know. But, you know, it's a day for stuff-ups and oopsies and experiments. So... What the heck, right? Can only not work. Let's give it a try. I'm going to try white image transfer and then put some bronze over it and see how it looks. Never tried white before, but you know, it's a day for it. So let's give it a try. I can't see why it wouldn't work. It just may not print that well. That's all. So, you know, be prepared to go, oops, there's another one that didn't work well. <laughs> and that's okay. If that's the worst thing that happens, it'll be okay. The floor of the Queen Victoria building. I mean, it's a work of art in itself. I know you probably wanted to go into all the shops, but I'm not a shopper. 
I was too fascinated by the beautiful building and the lines and the architecture and the stairs and the ceiling and the balustrades. I know, I know. I was captivated by the building itself. Didn't go into any of the shops. Actually, we were looking for somewhere to eat, so that's probably why. Righto, moment of truth. Did the idea work? That's the question. Always the question. And today, we're getting a lot of questions. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, baby, you know, it's not so bad. Not so bad. That looks pretty cool. Quite fine, but that looks pretty cool. Right, I'll let that dry and then I'm definitely going with the iridescent bronze fine. That's all I'm saying. We're putting that on next. Right now, so let's pull the print with our beautiful golden iridescent bronze fine and see if the white works well as an image transfer. I can't see why not, but you know, <laughs> you never know what's going to work today. <laughs> It's just a day for it. It's all I can say about that. I'll pull it on some glassine. That will get, get it up for sure. Glassine is fabulous for pulling paint off the gel plates. Yay! That is going to work for sure. <laughs> right, -o, let's have a look and see what the image transfer with the white will do. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So that's the tile from the floor, the Queen Victoria building. And that is a really cool print. Might be hard for you to see. Let's put it on a piece of paper. But that's quite subtle because it's a white image transfer. But you can see the pattern here on that. That looks really cool. Like that would be a fabulous piece in a collage. That would work really well. I'm liking that. Okay, it works. It works. <laughs> we can all sigh relief. It actually works. Now, if you've joined my brand new recent Patreon community, I'm going to put the images of the photos that I've used today in these transfers into a file in that community. So if you want to join me on Patreon, uh, I'll put the links in the description below the video. You'll find the file here if you want to have a go at this yourself, which I really think you should. You need to test out your print copy. You could see how important it was between one office shop and a different office shop. So check that out. That might be the cause of why your image transfers are not working. But these beautiful photos work so well and they create absolutely fascinating papers for your collage elements. I'm loving that. Uh, there's so much we could do. We could put beautiful golden colors over it in the red or the iridescence. So if you want to have a play with some of these photos, they'll be there in the Patreon community. Oh, I wanted to do that one too. Oh man, <laughs> there's too many. There's too many to do. It's so much fun. I'll put them there for you to experiment with and I just might keep on printing. Thanks for joining me today. It was a whole lot of fun. And I hope you're enjoying my art travels. There's a lot more behind the scenes in the Patreon community. And next, I'll be taking you to Singapore. Yippee! It's a whole lot of fun. Right, look at this. This one turned out much better. That's this image here on the gel plate with the white. Yay! That looks fantastic. That's going to pull a great print. Yippee! You just have to experiment. That's all I'm saying. You just, have to, you just have to not give up. Keep trying and experiment and see what you can create. That is such a cool design. I'm loving that. Love that. That looks just beautiful. Great collage paper. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I absolutely love the experimental process of image transfers. And don't forget, you can join me on Patreon for a more up close and personal experience, behind the scenes, exclusive content and live group hangouts. Yay!
So come back and join me again next week in the studio where we're creating something fun and something beautiful.